Okay, we're going to look at a process now where we're going to heat a gas and we're going to keep its volume constant. Okay, so here's our mass of gas and initially it has a temperature T1, a volume V1, pressure P1 and some internal energy uh, U1. So let's say we heat it so that its temperature rises from T1 to T2. Um, its volume is going to remain constant, therefore its pressure must change, so its pressure is going to rise from P1 to P2. So there's the heat. And our hotter gas now is over here, which has a new temperature, uh, same volume, new pressure, and a new internal energy. Right, from a specific heat capacity then, we know that the heat energy supplied is the mass times specific heat capacity of the gas at constant volume, Cv, times temperature differential, T2 minus T1. Okay, that's the amount of heat energy to get it from this temperature over to this temperature. And over here, uh, from the first law of thermodynamics, uh, the heat minus the work done is equal to the change in internal energy. Well, this is held at constant volume, and there's no work done. So the W is equal to zero. Therefore, the heat energy is equal to the change in internal energy. So the heat energy uh, from this equation here is equal to the change in internal energy. And just expanding out then on the internal energy. So it's the change in internal energy is U2 minus U1. Uh, if we divide both sides by m, we get this specific change in internal energy. So I can say, then, dividing across, that the specific heat capacity at constant volume is equal to the change in an internal energy with temperature.